What's going on? It's Rich Vine, the Fit Lawn Guy. This is Meso Cycle One, Week Five, Workout Number Four. That means it's our second chest, tricep, and side delt workout of the week. Because it is week five, we're taking all of our sets to zero reps in reserve. That's right. Failure is the only success today. We are going on uploading every single workout of the Meso Cycle for five weeks straight. If you can appreciate my commitment to that, I'd appreciate if you go ahead and leave me a like. And if you haven't been, I'd invite you to subscribe and follow along because I leave all the workouts in the description. I'll show you how to go from three reps in reserve week one all the way to zero reps in reserve on week five like we're doing today. Main lift of the day is flat dumbbell press. Then we're gonna move on to some dips. After that, we're gonna hit some cable tricep press downs with the straight bar. Then we're gonna finish off with some lateral raises with a pause at the top to really fry the side delts. We are on a time crunch today, so we're gonna warm up as quick as possible and get to it. First set, 70 pound dumbbells. Target is 12 with zero reps in reserve. Of course, we're going to try to get more. We're gonna do as many as we can until we hit failure. I'm running on low sleep. I'm short on time. I ran out of pre-workout. Had a crazy ass day running around, trying to get things situated with my truck that's out there in the field right now. If you wait for the perfect moment, you're gonna be waiting for a long time. I didn't even wanna show up today. I said, just do it tomorrow. You know, you don't have to record every workout. But for those of you who have been watching and been liking the videos and supporting me and keeping me accountable, I had to show up and I'm gonna give it my all on this set right now. If you're waiting for the perfect moment, you're gonna be waiting a long time. Let's fucking go, 15. Things got hot and heavy on that last set. Had to open up the garage. Set two, target is 11. Hey, shout out to whoever told me stop swinging up the weights if they were like 70 pounds or heavier. I appreciate that. One, come on, we got more. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, you got one more. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> I think we got 13 there. Let's go. Last set. I normally like to fully recover. I feel like I can benefit from a couple extra minutes, but I really need to get this work done. At least the chest portion of this workout, I need to get done. I only have about 20 or 30 minutes left. 
I gotta watch my daughter and it's just too dangerous in here for her to uh, be playing around while I do this. So we're gonna do our best adding a third set and there is no target. It's just go until we can't do anymore. I'd say the over under is uh, eight. So place your bets now. Over or under. Eight reps on the third set. Leave your guess in the comments below. Now, here we go. Just in case you bet against me. All right, we're moving on to dips. Honestly, I could be really happy and proud with just those three sets right there. Between all the stuff that I've been going through today, I was just getting here and getting done when I really didn't want to. But we got some dips. Again, running really short on time, so not well rested. But the target's 15. Gonna do my best to not compromise on the form, but. I just don't know right now the way I feel. way short. Only got 12 to be expected. The main thing is that we went above and beyond on the first set so the second exercise can suffer a bit. That's why the first exercise I choose is always the most important exercise. That's my main chest isolator is flat dumbbell bench on this day. As for the dips, because I lean forward it does get a deep stretch at the bottom of the move and put a lot of stress on my pecs. But I consider this move kind of a 50-50 chest and tricep. So it's a great segue into my tricep isolator because my arm volume has had to be cut back due to me emphasizing chest and back growth this meso cycle. I like choosing a move that it feels like 50-50. The main chest move goes first. The good segue between chest and triceps goes next. And the tricep isolator goes last. I got 12. We'll try to make up for it on the next set. And get a little bit more than whatever our targets are. All right, target on the second set is also 12. It's a pretty lofty goal considering how much of a struggle 12 was on the first set. But, We'll try our best. Oh my God. just not there today. Let's take a breath and try to get, I think it was like five more. Let's just see how it feels. Oh my God. I'm just gonna try to do more.
Stretch at the bottom, man. I think that's it for dips. If I could get this move in, I could do the dumbbell flies. I mean, I could do the lateral raises inside, which would be awesome. So we got 62 and a half pounds, shooting for 14 on the first set. Let's go, baby. We got one extra rep there. Count it up to eight, count it down from seven. That should be 15 instead of 14. Oh my God, big mistake. Rest up, try to get another one. Nowhere near recovered. We're gonna go for 11. Two breaths, two reps. Let's go. Pump is stupid right now. It's crazy. All right, mission accomplished. We were able to do what we needed to do in the garage before the deadline. That feels really good. We could do the dumbbell lateral raises inside. Uh, yeah, I guess this is my warm up set and my top set. I usually hate doing that, but it's all good. We'll just have to do it today. Target is 16 with a pause at the top. Very crucial. Let's go. Oh, nothing, baby. Daddy's just doing a set of uh, lateral raise with a pause of failure. Zero RIR week. She's worried. I try not to make too much noise. She's always wondering what the heck's going on. Yeah, that felt good. What I get, like 20? That's what I was shooting for in my head. I was like, all right, 16, 17. Let's go for 20. See what happens. And, uh, I do have a sick ass pump right now. And 
I hit my Tari rest for sure, and that's really all that matters. So, rest up a second, get no set. Oh man, I may have actually found the forbidden posing light. Oh, what? Hold on a second. Let's see what the heck is going on. Yeah, this may be it right here. Yeah, what's up, babe? You wanna come say hi? Yay! Say hi! Hi, everybody. Yeah? Shit. Okay, say bye-bye. All right, guys, so I got a couple of extra sets of lateral raises with the pause off camera. We're the cleanest or the best sets of all time, not gonna lie, but I did go to failure, wound up pumping out some extra reps. Really got the side delts fired out, right, babe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 20 grilled chicken nuggies. No chicken nuggies. No chicken nuggies? What, mac and cheese? Okay. No chicken nuggets for her, just mac and cheese. 400 calories, 60 grams of protein. No really go wrong with that yeah. don't forget to track your sauces I say given circumstances today was a pretty big win huh? what? I'd say it was a pretty big win given the circumstances we were limited on time but we were able to go above and beyond our target reps for the first exercise yeah. that's the main lift of the day no. Flat dumbbell press is definitely a move we're going to be keeping in next meso cycle. You want fries? You have one right here. Contemplating whether or not I'm gonna keep incline dumbbell press or swap it out for incline dumbbell press fly where I do a slightly wider grip at the bottom. I really put an emphasis on the stretch no. Drop the weight a little bit. No. No incline dumbbell press fly? No. What do you think I should do instead? Close. Deficit push ups? Close. Close. You're close? Baby's close. That is baby's close. Well, flat dumbbell staying in for sure. Yeah, I think it has to, baby. We're making so much progress on that move. Yeah, we make it up. But it feels good. And I get a great pump without any joint pain. We'll, we'll talk about other moves after, but it's staying. <laughs> the big disappointment of the day, obviously, was dips. Maybe you're right. Considering I didn't really get enough rest in between and how much extra work I did on our first move. Maybe I can be somewhat satisfied with how he did on the dips. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, oh, with the spoons? Cheers. Maybe she's right. Maybe we don't have to be so hard on ourselves yeah, considering how many, uh, how well we did on the first move. 
It's a big dub of the day, though. No, I'm a sticker. A big dub of the day? No. Did I get that done? Well, from, no, I'm not done yet. Well, I guess I am out of chicken. You're so observant. Cheers. The big dub of the day had to be. She doesn't want to wake us up. She's she's a boss baby. That I even got in the gym. No. There, I said it. Yes. No, I made it. No, that is the big dub of the day that I got in the gym. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. We got in there. Yeah, yeah. We got in there even though we didn't want to. And like I said earlier, no, yeah. if you're waiting for the perfect moment, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to be waiting for a long time. So I could be really proud of the workout that yeah, we did. Yeah. We got us one of probably the best pumps of the meso cycle, if not the best pump of the meso cycle. Yeah, yeah. And um, we finished out our chest, triceps, and shoulders no, strong. And we're ready to make some more PRs no, next no, meso cycle. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 All right, well, I'll be back tomorrow to hit our last back, biceps, and rear delts workout of the meso cycle should be a good one. Try to try to really smash some target reps on that first exercise. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave me a like. If you haven't been, I'd invite you to follow along. Feel free to subscribe. I put all the workouts in the description so you can go check those out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, I appreciate you tuning in. So, yeah, I'm done. Ding.